This man leads an ordinary life. He is not appreciated by his family or at work. One evening, while walking his dog, flashes of light suddenly appear in the sky, and then he blacks out. When Inuyasiki comes to, he realizes that he has become a robot. Now he must save the planet from villains. Enjoy watching. This man has a wife, daughter, and son. But his family doesn't love him at all because he is old and poor, and he is constantly scolded at home and at work. One day on his way home, he sees robbers attacking someone, but he cowardly walks away. His daughter Mari notices this and calls her father a coward. In the evening, a ginger dog comes to Inuyasiki's house, and the man decides to keep it. He feels unwell and goes to the doctor. There, Inuyasiki learns that he has stage 4 cancer and only has a few months to live. Our hero tries to call his family, but none of his relatives answer the phone. Inuyasiki goes out to walk his dog. The man begins to cry bitterly. A sad guy sits on a bench nearby. Suddenly, a bright light appears in the sky, followed by a powerful explosion. We see some silhouettes and hear strange sounds. It seems that these are aliens who have landed on Earth. At dawn, Inuyasiki comes to his senses. His faithful dog rushes to him. The man notices that he can see well even without glasses, which surprises him greatly. Over breakfast, our hero realizes that he can't taste food and eagerly drinks water from the tap. In his room, Inuyasuki sees that his body has become incredibly strong. A strange mechanical device appears from his hand, and the soup he just ate ends up on the curtains. The man approaches the mirror and sees that his body and head are filled with electronic mechanisms. Moreover, his hands can transform into real weapons. Only then does Inuyasiki begin to understand that he is not a human, but a robot. Meanwhile, a student named Hiryu Shishigami notices that his friend Choko is absent from school and goes to visit him. Shishigami shows his new abilities to his friend. He extends his fingers, making a gun gesture, and aims at a passing bird. Bang! And only feathers remain. We understand that Shishigami is the same guy who was sitting on the bench during the explosion in the park. So, he is now also a robot. Choko is impressed. In the parking lot, Shishigami gestures with his hands, causing cars to crash. The guy shows his cyborg body to his friend and says that he is no longer a human but a superhero. At the same time, Inuyasuki is threatened with dismissal from work and he begs his boss not to do it on his knees. On his way home, the man sees an injured pigeon. He takes it in his hands and suddenly some program starts healing the poor bird. The pigeon flies away and Inuyasuki smiles happily. He hears voices of help in his head and follows them. The man comes to the hospital and sees a sick boy there. Inuyasiki tries to heal him, just like he did with the pigeon on the street, and he succeeds. The boy opens his eyes, gets up, and takes off his oxygen mask. It's a real miracle. Inuyasiki smiles and walks away. Now he feels needed, important, and useful. However, at the same time, something very bad is happening. Shishigami and Choko come to school, where Mari, Inuyasiki's daughter, also studies. A crowd of hooligans surrounds Choko and starts threatening him. Shishigami forcefully grabs one of them by the arm and almost breaks his bones. The man falls to his knees and begs for forgiveness. Shishigami points his hand at the thug, making the gun gesture with his fingers again. At the last moment, Choko stops his friend. During break time, a classmate named Shion rushes up to Shishigami and confesses her love to him. He smiles condescendingly and walks away. Shishigami goes to his father. He and his mother are divorced, and the man now has a new family. However, they all love this guy very much. In the midst of the fun, the hero again makes his dangerous gesture with his fingers. But looking into the frightened eyes of his watery sister, he can't bring himself to do it. Shishigami walks down the street. Suddenly, he bursts into someone's house, and using his gun gesture, takes the life of an unknown man, and then his wife's. At that moment, Inuyasiki, using his super abilities, heals people in the hospital. Suddenly, the man hears a cry for help. He rushes to the house where Shishigami is at that moment, but doesn't make it in time. He sees a lifeless girl on the floor in the corridor. The man tries to heal her, but it's already impossible. Inuyasiki enters the room and notices two more bodies, as well as Shishigami himself. The guy again uses his gun gesture, causing Inuyasuki to fly into the wall. But the man is also a robot, so he quickly comes to his senses. He rushes out onto the street and sees Shishigami flying away with a powerful jet engine. 
Inuyasiki realizes that Shishigami is just like him, a robot, but he doesn't know why the guy is committing such crimes. The next day, Choco asks Shishigami why he took the lives of a young family. The guy replies that he has become a god and will use his power as he pleases. Nayuki is horrified and begs Shishigami never to come to him again. The guy goes home. His mother tells him that she has stage 4 cancer and won't be around much longer. At the same time, Inuyasiki returns home and witnesses another family quarrel. The son steals money from his mother and the daughter doesn't want to study but dreams of becoming a writer. Once again, the man hears nothing but reproaches and insults directed at him. At night, Inuyasiki cries bitterly in his room. Suddenly, he remembers Shishigami and decides to stop the villain. The man grabs his beloved dog and activates his jet engine. He flies through the city at tremendous speed and lands near the bench where tearful Choko is sitting. Inuyasiki tells the guy about what happened to him and Shishigami. They assure him that his friend is actually a good guy. Life just made him cruel. Together, they try to find a way to stop him. But first, Inuyasiki must learn to control his super abilities. He tries to use the same finger gesture to break a tin can, but nothing happens. A doctor at an appointment announces that Shishigami's mother is completely healthy. It seems even our villain has the power to heal people. He and his mother laugh joyfully, and then they are surrounded by the police. The guy is suspected of serious crimes. Meanwhile, Shishigami tries to escape. A fight breaks out with the police, but he easily deals with them. Activating his jet engine, the guy flies away. Stories about him are shown in all the news. Shishigami finds Shion, the same girl who confessed her love to him. She invites him to her home and offers him to stay. Meanwhile, Inuyasiki finally begins to control his power well, but he quickly gets tired and drinks a lot of water because of it. Suddenly, this water literally pours out of him, just like the salty soup did once. But why such a reaction? Choco realizes that it was sports water and salt was added to it. Perhaps robots can't tolerate salty substances. In the evening, Maria returns home and sees her father with her classmate Choco. This surprises her greatly. The girl stops the guy on the way home, demanding an explanation, but he runs away. Night falls. Shishigami watches the news. He learns that his mother couldn't bear the accusations against her beloved son and took her own life. The guy cries bitterly. He reads people's comments cursing him. Shishigami finds one of the most malicious commentators and hacks into his computer. Seeing Shishigami on the screen, the man laughs maliciously until he directs that same gun gesture at him. Bang! And red spots appear on the man's sweater. We understand that Shishigami can use his powers even through a computer screen. Shishigami connects to the computer of the next commentator and does the same. And then again, and again, and again. The number of his victims is in the dozens. Exhausted, Shishigami greedily drinks water from the tap, after which he confesses that he is the criminal everyone is looking for. The guy demonstrates his cyborg body to her, grabs her and activates his jet engine. He flies through the city with the screaming girl in his arms, declaring that from now on, the whole world is his enemy. Despite this, Shion pleads with the guy not to abandon her. Shishigami hugs the girl and promises to be by her side. At night, Shion goes to drink water. At that moment, police officers burst into her house, open fire. Shishigami tries to shield the girl with his body, after which he repeatedly uses that same finger gesture. All the policemen fall lifeless. However, Shishigami failed to save Shion. The girl also lies on the floor motionless. The guy is desperate. He flies away. Inuyasiki watches another news broadcast about Shishigami's crimes. He asks his family to stay home and turn off their phones. But as always, they only look at him with contempt. Inuyasiki's daughter, Maria, goes on a tour of one of the huge skyscrapers with her friends. News about Shishigami is broadcast on all the city's screens. Suddenly, the guy himself hacks into the city's computers and everyone sees his face. He addresses the people and declares that he intends to take one life for every 120 million people. The guy directs his gun gesture at the city dwellers. But people just laugh and don't take these threats seriously. Until the first passerby falls to the ground. The second, the third. Panic ensues in the city. Everyone tries to run away from the screens, but they are everywhere. Moreover, Shishigami hacked all the mobile phones in the city. And every person with a phone can instantly become his next victim. Inuyasiki hears millions of voices calling for help. He also hacks into the city's electronic system and broadcasts a video message from Choco, 
who asks everyone to leave the screens and turn off their phones. Many heed his advice, infuriating Shishigami. He activates his jet engine, sends white beams throughout the city, destroying buildings. From the window of the skyscraper, Maria sees the city engulfed in flames. However, thanks to this, Inuyasiki understands where the villain is hiding and rushes towards him. The man uses the gun gesture, but for the guy, it's nothing. He activates plasma engines, and a battle ensues between the robots in the air. Inuyasiki barely avoids crashing into a building, and then Shishigami starts shooting his explosive beams at him. Suddenly, Inuyasiki hears a cry for help. It's his daughter, Mari. A beam of light flies to the skyscraper where she was, and now everything there is in ruins. Inuyasiki rushes to save Mari, breaking through buildings with his body, and even subway trains. He ends up on the skyscraper, but Shishigami is already there. The battle continues. Shishigami knocks down a helicopter. Inuyasiki manages to save one pilot, but our main villain appears again. He has exerted a lot of energy and wants to drink water, but Inuyasiki knocks the bottle out of his hand and throws his own towards him. With salty water, Shishigami grabs it and greedily drinks, then attacks Inuyasiki again. The man even has to fly beyond the planet to avoid colliding with explosive beams. Now they are fighting in open space. Suddenly, Shishigami feels unwell from the salty water. Inuyasiki takes this chance and blasts the villain with a fire beam. An explosion occurs. Inuyasiki returns to Earth to save his daughter. He finds her under the rubble, but she shows no signs of life. Nevertheless, he tries to resuscitate her, performing artificial respiration on Mari. Suddenly, the girl opens her eyes and starts coughing. She hugs her father and cries. And then, Inuyasiki is blown away by a powerful blow. It's Shishigami, and he's still alive. The guy directs that same finger gesture at the girl. Inuyasiki rushes at the villain but doesn't make it in time. Mari is badly injured. A hand-to-hand -hand fight ensues between the robots. However, Shishigami is much stronger and literally smashes his opponent against the walls. Mari realizes that her father is a robot. Shishigami tries to finish Inuyasiki off. The daughter reaches out to her father, but the villain grabs Mari and throws her off the skyscraper. With his last strength, Inuyasiki activates his jet engine, and in flight, he pierces Shishigami's metal body, after which he literally catches his daughter mid-air and heals her with his superpower. Inuyasiki takes off again to save those who are still there in the skyscraper. A week passes. From the news, we learn that Shishigami is no longer alive, and the fragments of his metal body were scattered throughout the city. Inuyasiki has breakfast with his family. His daughter kept his secret. He prepares to make a smooth, salty soup, but remembers how it will end and puts the plate back in its place. Subscribe to the channel and be sure to watch my other videos that have appeared on your screen. Goodbye, everyone.